what's going on guys welcome back to another grand 5 mods video today we're gonna be playing as firefighters in new york city and we are currently in the bronx guys we're gonna be rolling as fdny squad company 61 and we're doing a little bit of training before we get started so uh first thing we're gonna do is repel down our station so we're gonna lower ourselves down, do a little bit of training, and you know what, it's good to get the stretcher too. So let's grab the stretcher. Any of you guys wanna go for a ride and be the patient? There we go, we got one of our firefighters in, and we're just gonna practice lowering ourselves down because in New York City, we gotta be prepared for everything, guys. And as the squad company, we are in charge of responding to fires as well as accidents and technical rescues and hazmat situations. We, we just gotta be prepared for it all. All right, good job, buddies. You go ahead and get up and we can put this away. Oh, that did not sound good. All right, sounds like the tones are Special going off. Unit. We have a report of a fire. We're going to be responding with the main piece. For those of you who don't know, all of these squads in New York City has a second piece to respond to certain rescues and have smack calls. But for now, we don't need it. Where did that lady go? <laughs> Trying to make sure we don't hit her. Okay, so first call, let's see what it's gonna be. Report of a fire, but where? Look at that New York City skyline in the background. And the livery on this truck is really cool too. The paint job is amazing. Is it gonna be in one of these apartment buildings? Squad 612 to the Bronx, you can show us 1084. Got nothing showing, we're gonna be investigating. Think it's gonna be something. Oh, I hear somebody screaming. I think I hear something burning too. All right, let's not take any chances. Let's grab a line, mask up, and go investigate. So we're gonna stretch the line and head inside. Oh, we got fire. It looks like it's gonna be an abandoned building. Before we call in the full 1075, let's just go investigate. See if we can handle it on our own or if we need a whole assignment. Okay, we made it to the fire floor. Looks to be a small fire. Okay, so minor fire, we'll check for extension. Like I said, no reason to call in the full 1075 assignment on that one. So let's search the house. It's a vacant, but we gotta always assume that it is occupied until proven empty. I mean, yeah, until proven empty. So we'll do a quick search, make sure nobody's in here, and then we will get out of there. Citizens reporting a possible 480 in San Andreas. Units respond code three. Squad 61, uh, we're available for that run. Sounds like they have a report of a multiple vehicle collision. So we're all done with this call. Ended up being no other fires, no fire victims. So we'll respond to this accident and check that out. This place is like a maze. Move out the way, coming through. Oh! Oh, coming through a little hot. Nobody's here though. Nobody's, oh goodness, oh my. We're just gonna act like that didn't happen. Oh, we're back at our firehouse. Okay, look, looks like this call is gonna be on the highway. Oh, I see smoke, is it on fire? Squad 61 is going to be 1084. I'm going to grab a line because I do see a little bit of smoke just in case. Oh my god, we got a fire. The car went off the road. Okay, uh, we trained for this, guys. We trained for this. Let me grab the tripod. This is exactly what we were training for earlier today. So we're going to set the tripod up right here. And we'll lower ourselves down with the line. Ah, the fire burned out already. Dang it. Well, that's okay. We can still rescue the person that was in it. See? I literally said it earlier today. We gotta be prepared for anything. Who would have thought we'll be responding to a car accident? Yeah, so like I was saying, who would have thought we'll be responding to a car accident with a car that went off the highway, caught on fire? Oh my god, there's somebody inside. Okay, we gotta get them out. And now we got a little bit of a wildfire burning, but it should burn itself out. There's not much here. So let me grab him and try to take him out of the ambulance. 
Okay, we got him. Did I just say take him out of the ambulance? Take him out of the car, I'm sorry. So we got him out. We're gonna have to try to put this fire out, but I think it's gonna mainly burn itself out. So now, we're gonna get him back to the tripod. Okay, we got him in the stretcher. We're pulling him up. And this is perfect. We literally trained for this today and it ended up happening. Awesome, okay, we got him up. So we'll get an ambulance to go check on him. Okay, we now have two other people involved in this accident. Both of them look like they are trapped in there. They are pinned. So we're going to use our truck to just pull one of these cars backwards. And then we're going to use our uh, rescue tools to cut them out. So let's attach to this one. And we're going to carefully pull that back. Perfect. Now we're going to grab our generator and spreaders. Drop that down right there, connect that, turn it on, and we are ready to go. So I'm gonna try to cut this person out of the vehicle. Okay, change of plans, guys. The uh, spreaders are acting up, so we're gonna try to K-12 it. We'll just cut that door jam right off, and we should be able to pull it up. There we go. Now for the second car, I'll just do the same thing. Perfect, we got everybody out of their vehicles. So I'm gonna put this back. We're still waiting on an ambulance for these people. Okay, so while we're waiting for EMS, I'm gonna start treating this guy here. Let's check his vitals and see if he's breathing. It looks like he is not breathing, so we're gonna try CPR. We also have the paramedics. Ah, the other guy didn't make it. Oh no, my guy didn't make it either. They were in there pretty long. Okay, it's not over yet. Let me grab my medic bag and let's do an injury assessment on, not on him. Come on. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy today. And today is not my day. So let's do an injury assessment on him and see if we can figure out what's wrong. Maybe we can treat him and then try to save him once we know what the problem is. So he has a broken arm. That's not too bad. Okay, let's try to treat it. So we are going to bandage, splint, and I can't really give him painkillers yet because he's not really breathing. So the painkillers are gonna have to wait a second while we attempt to first get them up. Oh man, okay. We tried everything, but unfortunately this guy did not make it. So we're gonna have to call the medical examiner for him. Oh, shoot. Damn, well, we were able to save one person. Let me take a look at this guy, see if we have any luck with him. But it's so sad. It's fatal accident here in the city oh we were able to save this guy okay so dispatch uh, send us another ambulance we have one more victim that needs to be transported and they kind of forgot about the first guy too so let me request one for him this traffic is terrible the ambulances are just literally stuck in it hopefully they can get through I'm gonna also request a police unit, some NYPD for traffic control because, yeah, we need some help over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all the units trying to get through the traffic. Oh boy. Alright, PD is here. Maybe, maybe I can move over a little bit to let traffic drive by. Okay, I, I removed the road restriction, so they may be able to go by now. I noticed that my guys kept, like, looking over here, too. And now this officer's looking here. Is there, like, an invisible body here or something? There must be. I don't see anybody. I don't know. Okay, we have more medics on scene for these transports, and then we should be able to get out of here. This is just insane. Hey, how you doing, Sergeant? Hey, what up? So we arrived on scene of what we thought was a two-car accident, but if you look down here, you will see that 
is actually a third car down there that burnt up. So this was a three car accident. Each car had one person involved. Unfortunately, uh, there was one fatality. The fatality was in the first SUV. Uh, I'm not sure how the accident happened or anything like that. All right, thanks for the information. Okay, so we let the sergeant know what's up. Oh look, these guys are using the right stretcher, but those guys aren't. So I guess it depends on the way we call for backup. I think stop the pet is probably right, but ultimate backup is probably wrong. So I gotta try to remember to fix that. But yeah, we got the ambulances here. We got NYPD, we got the medical examiner for the dead body. And yeah, we're pretty much done here. So we'll let the tow truck company come out and try to, um, I guess tow all of these vehicles back to the shop but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope you guys enjoyed it definitely had a lot of fun hanging out with squad 61 here in the bronx if you enjoyed the video make sure go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below subscribe if you are new also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace